Hey Bugs, it's the boy here from Body Garbage and today we are making some more <laughs> charcoal soap. This time we'll be making it hot process. Um, we have our oils here before you and our lye solution off to the side that already has our activated charcoal inside. I wanted to cut down on some of the making time for this. So hopefully we can do that. So we're gonna get started. Just mix this a little. Just make sure it's all in there. I'm gonna pour this in. So as usual, if you hear anything in the background, Kobe is supposed to be watching his cartoon, but I think he is either in my room or underneath the table somewhere. I hope he's in my room. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's emulsify this and give it a good buzz as I'm dropping everything in my wake. you really don't have to if you don't want to um, I know they say oh, make it come to a full trace and then you know you can leave it and you gotta check on it every 15 minutes that's not what I do with my hot process so it's already cooking anyway make sure everything is all incorporated Give it one good buzz, another one, just to triple check. On high. <laughs> sit and do its thing um, I'll probably come back within maybe 45 minutes to an hour and um, check on it but I'm not gonna mix it or anything back when it's time for our first check and I'm going to put my crock on low 
see you in a gym. But, so we're back to check. And this is how it's looking. Um, it has some gel going on and everything. So we're going to continue to let this process on low. And I'll be back. Okay, bug. So, whew, I had errands to run, which is why I kept this on low. The mix this now. It's very, still very fluid. It's been about an hour and change since I let this cook on low. I'm gonna take some of this out of here. From the middle, and do a little zap test, and we should be good to go. The molding. Let's take this little piece right here. Let's mix it up between my finger. Let it cool a little. And we are good to go. I'm gonna turn off my crop. Oop, hot. Set it to the side. And I gotta destroy the kitchen. We drop in everything. We have our mold here. Let me zoom in a little. And we're gonna do a little tall and skinny today. I'm just gonna wipe some of this off my finger. Get my handy dandy wooden spoon. Let me take this out. Still pretty hot. My gloves. And then add this inner mold. Oh, it's been so long since I did high process soap. I love it. Started making soap hot process. Did not start with cold process. I figure since everybody claimed that hot process was always the next step up from cold process soap, that I would want to start with the hardest so called way to make soap first and then go from there. And it's worked out for me. <clears throat> Over the years, obviously, I've switched up on recipes and different things of that nature. And as you can see, even with this recipe, my um, hot process is still pretty fluid. And that thing sticked to the side of my crock. So, it's no, um, gonna be no white spots. I'm just gonna take this to the side, get some of those air bubbles out. I also needed to, um, do hot process because I have a few orders already for this soap. And I didn't want to be wasting a whole bunch of time. So, so as you can see, my mold is empty. I was talk, talk, talking away and totally forgot to put in my essential oils. So I'm just trying to check the heat on our soap. And usually when it comes to essential oils, you can put them in about 160 degrees. Maybe a little less. 
depending on the type of essential oil. Um, our soap is still hot, but it's not too hot to where I cannot add my essential oils. So we have some tea tree going in. Which I have to buy more of. And my neem oil. And this soap is very pungent, as you can expect. From these two being combined together. alone <laughs> are very like whoa and this already has a 5% super fat I don't like to super fat this soap too much because it already has amazing qualities from all of the ingredients that's in it so now we're gonna go back to plopping this in Sometimes things like that happen. Let's move this back some more. I'm only human. I'm not perfect. So it is what it is. Still gonna be beautifully good soup. Mom is yelling at Kobe. He's trying to eat her food. <laughs> okay, smacking it on the floor. <sighs> I'm not fighting anything. I'm trying to... I'm smacking down my soap on the floor so it won't be any air bubbles in it. Mom is asking Kobe, what am I fighting in the kitchen? Just scoop that down Go right on in there. And from this sitting down on the spatula, just in case anything comes off on it, it might be a little crusty pieces, but that's fine as long as there's no white pieces. I'm not pressed about it. Smack this down again. Charcoal soaps. Just gonna smoosh this on the side. Nothing too spectacular, nothing too fancy. Just to flatten it out some. And unfortunately, because Nurture Soap does not sell um, molds that don't bow. Well, I know this one bows a lot. So, because this one bows, I'm going to wedge it in between something, let this cool, and then we'll cut it soon. And it'll be ready for use. But, as you all know, depending on your recipe um, and how much water you use, you can always let it sit for another week or three just to um, let it get evaporated. So, I'll see you guys for the cut. Alrighty, Buzz, a few hours later. And our charcoal soap, as you can see, is ready to come out of the mold, I hope. <laughs> but either way, we're going to take it out with a 
what I love about hot process. So I'm just gonna reach in here. Slide this out. This is the first time that I actually did these bars and um taller skin moment. Not mind all the chips. Try to get a little slither off. Come on. Cut our full bars. Let's zoom in a little bit more. All right, I think I got it on the right amount of zoom that I want. Oh, you're just not gonna come off, huh? So, it's our first bar. Little air pocket, but it's nothing too major. Lazy Sunday. I caught up on all of the movies that I have been wanting to see. And I'm so happy I watched um, Captain Marvel. I'm a huge Marvels fan. <coughs> Um, I also watched every. Well, you should guys should know by now that I'm a major horror fan as well. And um, I checked out Annabelle Comes Home. That was pretty good. I also watched another Marvel um, movie, which was Venom, and that was fantastic. It was funny, and it had suspense. It was really good. I'm really happy <clears throat> with these bars today. Um, what else did I check out? I'm trying to remember. I think it was. It might have just been those three. Um, oh no, I watched the remake of Child's Play. I wasn't too much of a fan of how they remade Chucky to look. But the concept was pretty cool. It was um, basically based off of modern times. If you guys don't see it yet. <laughs> basically, you can tap in to <clears throat> your whole life source. Almost as if he were like um, a uh, Siri. You know, like Apple. Or, um, you know, asking Google something. So, he was a complete AI this time around, instead of a possessed doll. Which, I kind of like the theme of the possessed doll, but it is what it is. <clears throat> I've also been getting into some mukbangs. I've been watching that, binge watching it, actually. And I rather like it. I myself have started a mukbang channel. And if you are not familiar with what a mukbang is, basically it's just a eating show. Um, we watch people eat and, you know, they talk about various things. On my um, particular mukbang channel, I talk about um, life stuff. Um, whether it be my life or, you know, somebody else's true crime. Uh, right now, I'm working on a segment called The 31 Days of Halloween, in which I will be um, talking about murders that have taken place on Halloween. 
various different years by different people, obviously. So if you're interested in any of that or you just want to check it out just to um, see what I have going on, please, um, I would love it if you would check it out, watch a video, comment, um, and of course, subscribe and like. The, su the support is necessary, <laughs> much needed, and very much appreciated. So that leads us to the conclusion of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this hot process of this charcoal soap. <laughs> Haven't done one of these in a very long time, including talking to you guys. I really didn't talk about much or anything. Have a, a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff in my mind. So this was a great distraction, this video. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. And as always, be well and stay blessed. And until next time, I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> Peace. Should be close and friends. Uh.